Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the elegance competition of the Miss Supernational 2019. So I will be sharing to you my top 15 based on that event and days ago they just had that competition where Vietnam finished third. Venezuela finishing in second place in Netherlands winning that round. I am so happy for Netherlands. I watched the entire show and she, is, she isn't my top choice but I do agree that she did very well. I am also very glad that this happened because some ladies are quite disappointing when it comes to catwalk personality and stage performance. So this is one way for us to have a little bit of an idea on who might do well in the competition. So having said that, here are my top 15 choices during the, elega during the elegance competition of Miss Supernational 2019. My number 15, Puerto Rico, Shaleka Velez. I was about to left Puerto Rico out of my top 15 in replacement for someone else, but I just cannot ignore how strong and confident her walk is. Her catwalk definitely carried her, though, in the entire performance. Not liking the dress, not a fan of the hairstyle, and those huge earrings makes it more painful to see for me. Although her face is beautiful and her walk is great, the rest is just a no. So hopefully she could work on those. My number 14... Thailand. Antonia Porcelled. I love her face as always, but I think it could be better. Her walk was also strong and I love how she keeps on showing those long legs. But one thing that I don't really like is the extra fabric near the slit because it has the same fabric as the entire dress. And it was too close to her hips and it doesn't give emphasis on her figure. And to be honest, it makes her look a little bit wider from afar. But with a different and better dress, I think she could be great. My number 13, Iceland. Hurun Birta Egesdotir. I am not a fan of the gown. However, her face is so beautiful. I love the styling of her hair. I also appreciate that she is not posing with the hands on her hips because it made her look fierce and confident and she looks like she is ready to slay the competition. My number 12, Myanmar. Yaint Nya Chal. What I noticed about Myanmar is that she is just a bundle of joy and energy when she is on stage. I also like the flowy bottom of the dress because it is playing along with her playful yet solid walk. Her poses a eh, are a little bit pageant patty to me, but she is serving it hot and with confidence. My number 11 is Indonesia, Jessica Fitriana. Again, Indonesia really prepared so much for this pageant. I wasn't wowed by how much they prepare because I kind of expected it, but I was wowed by the dress that she wore. It's so beautiful. The thing on her shoulder is just okay for me because it complemented the top part because others are saying that it was a little bit too, too much, but to me it was okay. It looked like an avant-garde fashion show. I can't really say if her walk is strong because she showcased a slower and classier walk, although her poses and turns are on point. My number 10, Cameroon. Angela Cusinda, another positive surprise during the competition. She looked super beautiful and her face just shines when she came out. I am so in love with the top top part of the dress and especially the dropped sleeves i'm loving that i love the very playful train of the gown as well but i am not a really huge fan of the frontal bottom part of the gown overall it was really her beauty her smile and her personality and her solid performance that carried her through up to this placement my number nine is spain aitana jimenez Spain's overall performance is screaming nature's freshness. I love her beautiful face. She also needs to smile more because she has a beautiful smile. Her walk was good and the turn was done wonderfully. I am not a huge fan of the dress but love those fur or feather like thing on her neck. I just wish she gave some more impact to it. My number eight is Trinidad and Tobago. Gia Lauren Gomez. 
definitely the biggest surprise of the entire round of competition. Her dress is just okay to me, and I don't think it's bad, but I would prefer a better dress. And for her performance, impressive. I love how she walked. I loved her facial expressions and the way the camera moves and zooms into her face seems like everything has a perfect coordination. My number seven, Vietnam. Ngoc Chao. Seeing her performance, I am quite surprised that she went as far as top three. Although her personality shines through in her performance, she looked fresh and she looked beautiful, but I still don't see it as a top three performance. Well, of course, opinions differ, but to me, I don't see it as a top three performance. However, I am not hating on her, so congratulations to her still. Also, her dress, I am loving that. I love how it was made to showcase her long legs, beautiful. My number six, Belarus. Karolina Borisovic. Karolina was a complete surprise to me. I know she's beautiful, but with her styling during that round, her beauty was elevated into a much, much higher level. Her face just left me speechless. I also loved her choice of dress and that floral pattern because it emphasized her freshness and she was like a goddess on that stage. Her walk was also very decent. I mean, goddess alert. My number five, Namibia. Yana Hainish. I was super excited when I saw Namibia's walk. This is the first time that I saw her walk and I have to say, I am completely satisfied and proud at how good she is. Love the swaying of the, of the hips. Love the gown choice and color. It isn't much but it complemented her beauty very very well so i'm very happy at what namibia gave as a performance she was one of my heavy favorites at this competition so that walk solidified my love for her even more my number four is netherlands natalie mogbelzada netherlands walk was good but it's hard to determine how good it is because of the dress she is wearing however I loved how the dress emphasized her amazing figure, which is looking at both sides of the stage. Her dress is just okay. It isn't bad, but it isn't wow either. However, one thing that wowed me is her face, her hair, her facial styling. I mean, everything is super, super beautiful. Super polished and beautifully done. My number three, Colombia. Jaisel Tuz and oh my gosh, I have no words. Her stance, her beauty, and her overall aura and presence commanded total attention. When she walked out, your attention just goes to her directly. And I am glad that the camera focused on her face before the end because it only showed how stunning she was. Her walk was also good. She is very confident. I love the playful and inventive styling of the gown. Although I am not a, I am not a huge fan of the color combination. I like the red one, but the purple one... Not a really huge fan of it. I think it could be better with a different color. Blue maybe could do well, but for purple, I don't really think so. Me number two is Venezuela. Gabriela de la Cruz. What a beautiful, beautiful face. I am also in love with the color of the dress. The color combination of pink and purple fringes is just perfection. And let me just say this. This is how you work with fringes very very beautiful amazing performance from venezuela with this performance we must get ready for another surprise from this powerhouse and to me the this game also is a shock to me because the best performance during the elegance competition to me goes to my number one peru janik maceta peru was divine during that round love the salmon color for the dress and i love every details of it showing off some new details as well she was very confident she gave a very solid and strong walk her face super stunning she needs to control her smile but with the close-up we are seeing 
I am glad she knows how to deliver those beautiful and piercing stare and of course her stunning smile. I was quite surprised, as what I've said earlier, that she did not make it even in the top three. She was amazing during that run, so I'm not really sure what's the reason why she didn't make it, but to me, she was the best performer during the elegance competition round. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below on who do you think stood out during the elegance competition. Who are your top three favorites for this competition? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.